Right, so now we've built our component. Essentially, when we want to ship the app to production or upload it to NPM or wherever it is, we need something called a module bundler. Now, Rollup is specialized as a module bundler for creating UI libraries, such as this one we are creating. There are other module bundlers out there, such as the V mod module bundler and also Webpack 5. But in this build, we will be focusing on Rollup. So if we go into the internet and essentially search for Rollup.js, if we click into it, now you can see here, it says Rollup.js, the JavaScript module bundler, essentially it compiles all of your pieces of code in everywhere in your app because in react everything is all separate and then it comes as one essentially what it does is it compiles it all into one file and then that file is the truth of source so to speak so this all will bundle everything for our code into a disk folder and then that disk folder is uploaded to npm so essentially if you want to look more on it these are the features that Rollup offers. So you can see here, this is a good one, which is tree shaking because like I mentioned before, we want to have our page component exported as the page. If we had a button component, then we could do the same there and so on. So again, if you see it in action over here, all you need to do is click get started. Now there's quite a lot going on. You could install it globally and so on, but what we want to do is we want to install specific packages for our project. So if you wanted to read more on this, there's quite a lot of documentation here to look through. But what we want to do now is continue with the build and we have a brief understanding of what Rollup is. So now let's go back in our project. What I'm actually going to do is install the packages that we need so so let's go ahead and import the relevant modules that we need and install them so it's rollup plugin or resolve rollup plugin typescript because we're using typescript rollup plugin common js rollup plugin dts and rollup plugin post css so let's press enter on that and now that will import all of the modules that we need what we also need to do is create a new file now and this is the rollup config file so let's go ahead and do that so it's rollup.config.module.js file and press enter and now what i'm going to do is bring in the imports that we need so let me quickly import them in and i'll explain them to you so essentially resolve so resolve here if you hover over it it says locate modules using node resolution algorithm so again we define this in the type trip ts config json file over there and essentially it helps us find any modules in our node module folder the typescript one if you hover over it seamless integration between rollup and typescript so that's quite necessary why we need that one common js convert common js modules to es6 so they can be included in the rollup bundle we need that dts is important as well it says so essentially what dts is is used to generate the definition files for typescript so that's why we need that one post css again there's no information on this but what essentially post css does is it basically integrates post css in your rollup so essentially you can style these components here which we will do later on and then this one over here basically inserts your the package json file that we have over here in here we'll have our declaration files and type file and then this last one is basically importing package json and in there what we will have is values such as the main value and also the module value so we'll do that later on in the package json but that's essentially what we need to do is we've installed everything and we need to import it in so let's go ahead and create the rollup configuration object now so essentially it's going to be export default and then this is going to be an array. So in this object over here, this is basically the configuration of our rollup bundle itself. So let's go ahead and bundle the main library. So first of all, we need the input. So that is going to be the index.ts file over here. So let me just close this down. So essentially this is the file that we need as the import because this is what exports everything out for us. So let's first of all create an object and in this object it will take the import and all we need to do is pass in the file path. So I think it's source 
slash index.ts this one over here so that's the import which is the essentially the entry point for the library then we need the output so let's go ahead and do that and the output we're going to have two outputs so because we're working with json objects if we have two we just need to wrap it in an array and then the first object so this is how we're going to bundle our code and what it does it creates the modules that we want so essentially we want common js and we also want an es module as well so let me just quickly copy that from github copilot and essentially what that does is it gets access to what we define in the main value so package json dot main and then this one is the package json dot module so actually what we will do is we'll define them values whilst we're here so in package json we have the main we need to change this now so the main is going to be in the dist folder so let's go in dist this isn't created this happens when we build the the project so when we run build and that will be done by running the command of rollup but we'll do that in a moment so this slash and then cjs so as you can see in the rollup config let me just do it side by side here the output is cjs for the main so we need to make sure the keywords match so this dot cjs is the format here as you can see and then this is just going to be index.js now you might be thinking why is it js and not ts because what happens is typescript is transpiled into javascript so when we serve something to a browser for example typescript is not served it's basically javascript that gets served so we need to do the transpilation process and then in our build folder we get access to the index.js in here what we also want to do is the same for module so let's copy that and again do module but this time it's es m actually so let's do the m there and then esm there so ecmascript module and now let's save that so we're making good progress with this rollup config over here and now actually what i'll do is go back into here and then what we need to do is we will have plugins because we need plugins as part of the bundling process for rollup so let's go ahead and import the plugins that we need and again this is going to be an array and in here we've got a few imports that we have imported in and these are the plugins here so if you hover over it you can see plugin node resolve plugin typescript plugin common js plugin dts and plugin post css so essentially in this array we will have access to all of the plugins so let me go ahead and bring in the plugins that we are using and i'll just quickly paste them in so it's resolve common js typescript the ts config is in this file over here we're pointing to and we're saying exclude any tests and also any stories because we'll install storybook as well and then this is the post css configuration as well so this handles the post css part which is at the top over here so that is that section done but then again there's something here which we need to do which is the typescript definitions so we've done the first object and let me just confirm that is all complete which it is so now the second thing we need to do is handle the type definition so let's create a new object and essentially this needs an input and output as well so let me just quickly bring in what i have in here and paste it in so essentially we want the input to be the definition file in the esm folder which we generate from the dist folder when we run npm build or npm run build then the output is essentially an index.d.ts file in the format of esm the plugin we're using is the dts which is the definition ts and we also have this optional external argument in here as well so that is everything complete in our rollup bundle config let me just save it all and now that we have the configuration all set that's fine let's close it off we don't need the typescript ts config anymore but in here we have this scripts objects and in the scripts object what i want to do is have two scripts first script is going to be the build and also the second one is going to be dev so let me just actually copy these ones over here so the build script is fine we'll keep that one we don't need the test one and we don't need the watch what i also want to do is have a dev one in here and essentially this dev one is the watch one so let me just quickly do that and now if i save and now in the terminal if i just clear it out 
what I essentially want to do is run dev just to see what rollup does and see if there's any errors in our terminal. So everything is saved. And now all I want to do is do npm run dev. And what this should do is it will wait for any changes. Now you can see here it's basically saying that this is starting the project. And now let's see what the errors are. You can see here, it could not find module tslib, so we need that one. So let's go ahead and import that in or install that in, which is npmi dash dash save dash dev tslib, press enter. And now if we run npm run dev again, now you can see it's everything built. So roll up run, it built everything, it's waiting for changes. So if we make any changes in our components library now, it will update the changes in the disk folder. This disk folder gets uploaded into npm and we will handle that automation process soon. But let's go in the disk folder. We can see here we have an index.d.ts file which is handling all of our definitions. We have an ESM folder and a CEJS folder. So basically what that is is the two outputs we made in the rollup config. So let me just quickly go in here. We had output one which is this one and output two which is basically the two folders that are created. Let's go in ESM and index.js. You can see this is all of the code that is basically outputted and converted into JavaScript. Now you can see this could all be minified as well, but we will leave that. And essentially what it's doing is this will then get uploaded. And essentially this is basically the transpile version of our TypeScript code in the app and it is served as JavaScript. So that is how it is working. If we go in here, you can see index.js map. This is essentially the source map for our folder. And we also have one in here as well. So the source map comes from TS config in here. And if you see where that is, it is here where line 18 source map true, which essentially is create the source map files for emitted JavaScript files. So basically everything in the disk folder is what we need to be shipped up to NPM. And if we make any changes, so let's go in our index over here and add in some more text. This is my new text. This should update now. So you can see it says 1612. Now if I save, essentially what's happened is, is bundled everything up again and then created a new bundle for us. So I just wanna go back to what we have here. And now let me just quickly save this. And now you can see our library is complete. It's essentially building everything, but what we want to do is further enhance this. So we want to add in unit testing with Jest and React testing library. And then we want to also have some sort of styling. So what we will do is we'll probably import styles components and install that as well. So first of all, what we'll do is add unit tests and we'll do that next.